financial plans for business startups. You want it? I'm going to give it to you. As entrepreneurs and business owners, we know that if we have a clear plan, anything becomes possible. And if you can have a clear plan, a clear process to create that plan, and a way to create clarity with your partner or spouse, you can drive to amazing heights. All right, so I started my first of uh, 16 companies when I was 19. I have built them, bought them, sold them, hmm, wrecked a couple. And I have helped advise and coach on literally hundreds and hundreds of others. So when we start thinking about financial plans, this is something where people a lot of times will look for what they call a pro forma. Pro forma is a future projections of what they believe is gonna happen, both in expenses as well as revenue and other pieces. You can make all sorts of beautiful performance. I've done a lot of them. But the reality is, is you really need, it's, it's what's the information that's gonna go into it that's gonna be important. So in, uh, in my book, The Aspiring Solopreneur, and then in our courses at solopreneur, uh, aspir uh, aspiringsolopreneur.com, um, we actually will go through and we talk about these things and we help you figure out how to ask the right questions and how do you start filling these things out. Spoiler alert, if you go through the whole course, at the end of it, you'll actually have an amazing business plan, and we don't even talk about doing a business plan in advance. It's more around how do we ask the right questions, how do we start filling those things out. So when you think about financial plan, there's a ton of performance and spreadsheets and stuff that's out there. So I'm not gonna give that to you. What I am gonna tell you though is how do you get the quality information to fill that out? That's always the challenge. And to do this well, you know I'm like, oh, dude, I don't even know what questions to ask. Well, we talk about that book, we talk about it in a lot of the other videos that are on this channel, so please feel free to look at how do you find an accountant, how do you find an attorney, bankers, things like that. But the purpose of, of a good financial plan, just as a purpose of a good business plan, is how do you start with an initial bone structure, for lack of a better word, and then once you have the bones, then how do you start putting meat on the bone? How do you start go through and put the vascular system in and then how do you put in the tendons and then the muscles and then everything else and you keep adding these things because it, it'll fill out as you go through as you build the business plan so w typically the way you would start is to think about what is the customer journey and when i say customer journey it means how is it from awareness to we got paid and we asked for a great referral what is the life cycle of that employee, or excuse me, not of the employee, of, of our customer? So when you, when you start thinking about that, think, okay, first off, how is somebody gonna get to know you? How are they gonna be aware of you? Now, if you already happen to have great relationships and you're pretty sure you're gonna be able to get some contracts, well, you're not gonna have to put too much in there. But if you don't, and you're thinking, well, I'm gonna have to do advertising, I'm gonna have to do marketing, I'm gonna do things like that. <coughs> All right, then we need to say, it's gonna, I'm gonna need this, and I have no idea what it costs, but then you're gonna need to start thinking, who can help me find your, figure these questions out? Who can I interview so that I can be the expert and at least have a really strong idea around that? So we start with, first off, all right, who, how, do I, how am I gonna get customers? But you could say, well, well, wait a minute, we don't even have a business yet. We haven't even started that. And this is where, if you can step back and say, okay, we're gonna have the customer journey, but first we need to have the journey of building the company. And the idea with that is you can do all of this research for no money. You can do all of it, and I've done it a hundred times, where you can do lots of curiosity, inquiries, reaching out and figuring out, okay, this is kind of what I think my product is going to be. I think this is kind of what I'm going to need. Okay, great. You start to understand, yeah, this looks like it's probably pretty viable. Okay, I would do that first. Why do I want to do this? What is it I'm trying to product or market that I'm selling? Okay, and then once we start doing that, then you can start using and talking to an accountant, a small business accountant, lots of videos on the channel about this stuff, a small business attorney, small business banker, small business insurance person, small business marketing person potentially, even real estate, depending on what your needs are. But by, by asking and starting with those things, start looking with the questions or go into your, to the accountant first and say, hey, you know, they ideally know somebody that's already in this space, they may already have a full layout. They may even have a pro forma. They may have a profit and loss or they can educate you on different tools that they can give you right off the bat for those numbers. 
excuse me. And if they happen to know somebody in that space, that's even better because then you can go have conversations. Then you can start saying, okay, well, what do I need to know for insurance? What do I need to know roughly for my taxes? What type of structure should I set up? And, and you start figuring those things out. What's my uh, monthly uh, accounting fees gonna be? What should I think about for my annual accounting? What about my tax you know, retention? What are those pieces? So that'll allow you to start filling out, putting meat on the bone around the accounting piece. Then you go to the next one, go to the attorney. And the attorney, okay, well, what, do I, what am I gonna need? Well, it's gonna cost about this much to set up your corporation, and it's gonna cost this much to run it on an annual basis. Okay, put those in. And you're gonna need to invest some energy and some dollars in creating your initial contacts, or your contracts. You know, okay, great, and help me understand, what else do I need to know? And they'll, they'll be able to help you build those out. Then you can go to your insurance person. Hey, okay, here's what I'm doing. This is what I'm considering is this and this. These people are suggesting it'll be this structure. And help me understand, what do you, what do you see I'm gonna need? What are the absolute I have to have to be compliant? What are the things I probably should have to not be an idiot? And what are the things that'd be nice to have just to be extra covered? And you can decide then how much you're gonna add. Then, okay, now you're starting to understand what is it gonna cost to build the company? So let's say that all in is $7,000. Okay, <coughs> I don't know what the cough is. Anyway, you go back, okay, now you're gonna be able to say, how long is it gonna take me to recruit those investments? What kind of work am I gonna have to do? How many contracts am I gonna have to have? And, and, but the point with all of this is that all of these things are gonna start smoking out. What are the things that you need to do? How much are we need to take into account? Because you say, oh yeah, well I'm gonna I'm gonna charge hundred dollars an hour for my work, and it's gonna be great, and that's all I have to do, and I, I get to keep a hundred dollars of it. No, 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 no. Trust me, your your greedy uncle wants a bunch, Sam. And depending on the type of work it is, you may even have uh, bigger exposure with workman's comp. You may choose to not do that. You may need it. It's gonna depend on the areas, and this is where understanding what those pieces are, because. Sometimes, you know, I had a, we had a small, we had a window cleaning business a long, long time ago. And uh, we had to pay 30 cents of every dollar for our, our employees. So that means if we paid a dollar, we paid a dollar 30. Thir the 30 cents was just for the workman's comp. And then we had FICA and Social Security and everything else on top of that. So we were over a dollar 50 for every dollar. So it, it was expensive. And if you're the one who's just taking it out and saying, wow, well, it, you need to understand those things and this will help you do it. So ideally, um, ideally invest the time in, in yourself. Make sure that you're strong in understanding these things. You don't have to be the expert in law and accounting and all that, but you do have to understand what's being said and what's being presented to you. And I would always suggest starting with that small business accountant. So if you have questions and you'd like to learn more about Aspiring Solopreneur, our course, love to talk to you about it. You're welcome to, to reach out at aspiringsolopreneur.com. Check out some of the other videos on this channel. And uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Keep smiling.